Good morning, viewer. Bien this year. Here's the breaking news. Yeah, the United Nations Security Council on Monday, March 25, passed a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza amid the ongoing war between Israel and the Palestinian militant group Hamas during the month of Ramadan and an unconditional release of all hostages held in the besieged enclave. The UNNC adopted the resolution with 14 council members voting in favor of the measure and the United States abstained. The next demanded an immediate ceasefire for the ongoing Muslim holy month of Ramadan leading to a permanent sustainable ceasefire. The resolution passed also emphasizes the urgent need to expand the flow of humanitarian assistance to the reinforce the protection of civilians in the entire Gaza strips and reiterates its demand for the lifting of all barriers of the provisions of humanitarian assistance at scale. On Friday, March 22, the UNSC had turned down the resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and a hostage deal after Russia and China vetoed the US-led draft out of the 15 council members, 11 voted in favor of the resolution, but the veto stopped its passage. The measure passed on Monday is an alternative resolution drafted by the 10 elected members of the UNSC. Notably, the resolution on Friday was the first that the US backed a draft that came up for a vote with the word ceasefire in it since the beginning of the war. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, after the vote, called for the implementation of the resolution and said failure would be unforgivable. Yeah. The Security Council just approved a long averted resolution on Gaza demanding an immediate ceasefire and immediate and unconditional release of all hostages, said the UN chief in a post on X. Earlier on Monday, Guterres said that there is growing international consensus to tell Israel that a ceasefire is necessary and that any ground invasion of Rafah in southern Gaza would lead to a humanitarian disaster. Bien the support.